As the UN Security Council demanded an immediate ceasefire in Gaza on Monday, relief for its residents was drifting further from reach. Palestinians are forced to forage for food, with famine inching closer in the enclave. Mohammed Shahade says he risks his life to scrounge for this leafy wild plant known as Khobeza, a variety of what in English is called common mallow. He sells it in the market, but that and lemons are all his own family have to eat. My young children ask to eat, but what do I have besides Khobeza? I cook it and they eat it with spoons, without bread. It's a similar story for Maria Malata, who says Israelis have shot at her and her husband when they went to pick Khobeza in the east. All our lives, even through wars, we have not eaten Khobeza. My daughters tell me we want to eat bread, mother. My heart breaks for them. I can't find a piece of bread for them. I go and gather some Khobeza. We've found Khobeza for now, but in the future, where will we get it from? Khubiza will run out. Where do we turn? It's also the middle of the holy month of Ramadan, when millions of Muslims around the world fast from sunrise to sunset before enjoying large dinners with their extended families and watching special television shows. Gazans, however, are fasting on empty stomachs, save for some Khubiza for now. This woman says she and her family are dizzy from hunger, and consumed by cravings for vegetables, fish and meat. The foraging is another reminder of the suffering throughout the Palestinian enclave in the five months of war that has followed Hamas's bloody October 7th attack on Israel. In mid-March, the Integrated Food Security Phase Classification, which monitors the world's hunger, said famine is imminent and likely to occur in northern Gaza by May, possibly spreading across the enclave by July.
يعني ساعة قد في انت بتقول يا اخوك في ناس سابت في ناس سابت اما وابوها وطلعوا شربوا 